In this course, my mission is to show you how to work with luminosity masks, starting from the point on how to create perfect luminosity masks for your image, how to work with them, how to use them to create contrasts, and how to use them to color grade your image. For everyone who starts with Photoshop, it might be not very clear what luminosity masks are. So in this lesson, I want to do very short introduction to what masks itself are, and then we will slowly process to creating luminosity masks. So in Photoshop, uh, very often you work with the adjustment layers and help me to create one right now for the explanation and the most popular adjustment layer will be curves. So let's add some light to our curve adjustment layer and let's put the number one for it. And next to this, ma this layer that we created, like we created adjustment layer and we could create also other ones. As you can see, all of them has this white mask on the side. What does it mean? You see white color represent everything what is visible and the black color represent everything what's invisible. So in this case, right now, I brought up my curve so the image is brighter because here we can see its color white. When I invert this white color by pressing Command or Control and I on my keyboard, this mask will turn black and also the effect that's on it will turn invisible. Why is it like this? Because black color represents invisibility. So the mask won't be inv visible. The, the adjustment layer won't be visible when the mask is black. When the mask is white, adjustment layer visible. When the mask is black, adjustment layer invisible. So these are two ranges. Imagine the white colors are 100%, the black color as a 0%. If we would actually change this mask color to gray, somewhere exactly in between, the effect would be visible at 50%. So we can use this knowledge to do some different effects, of course, on our image. For example, uh, right now I can see my mask is black, so the effect is invisible. But if I would use the white color, the brush, white color on the brush of the brush and paint over the image, but make sure if you want to paint on the mask with white or black color, depending on which color your mask is, make sure your mask here is selected. You can see this white, uh, white things, white lines around the, uh, around the square that we have over here. So I could paint over here when my square is selected. And let's have a look it's brighten and I'm going to press optional art on my mask because you can see in the halfway I painted with color white. If I'm going to invert right now, pressing command or control and I to invert this mask, I my effect is applied in the different range. As you can see, the below is color white and here these colors I change into more darker of course it's not very clear so i should paint in this better but that's what it could be so these are basics of the mask but the masks can offer much more you see what if i can tell you that you can create absolutely very selective masks. So for example, you can create the mask where the highlights will be having white color and the shadows will be having black color. In this case, we will be able to improve the highlights on the image without affecting the shadows. Also, we can create a mask where the shadows will have white color masks, so we can improve the shadows, but highlights will have black color masks. We can create the mask when the red color will have the white color mask and the rest will be 
black. These things allow us to work very selectively on the image having control on every specific aspect, like highlights, shadows, and of course midtones in this case, as well as any other color would like to have control on. So in the next lesson, we'll jump into how to create luminosity masks in three different ways, the major ways I use for my professional retouching.